Crow does not need a buff right now. Come on, Kairos. Everybody knows that Crow needs a buff right now. I mean, some people think he needs a buff, but I've got proof. He does not need a buff. I don't believe you. Well then, noob time. Just watch and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> there you go. Making fun of my name again. Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Carlos Time, and it is time to talk about an in-depth analysis of the current meta of Brawl Stars. Now, this is going to include a comparison of actual stats of the top players in the world in comparison to what most of the players in the world are at right now. Up until now, you've probably heard things like Crow needs a buff, or Shelly is like one of the worst brawlers in the game. Barley needs a nerf, Mortis needs a buff. This meta-analysis will be the most in-depth look into actual numbers so that we can truly determine which brawlers do need changes. You know, so that Brawl Stars can be perfectly balanced as all things should be. All the data in today's video comes from two primary sources. I recently polled 20,000 players regarding their trophy levels for all of their brawlers. The numbers from that are a good representation of what the general population of Brawl Stars is like. And a super dedicated fan to the channel actually also sent me all of the data on the top 200 players in the ladder with all of their brawler trophy counts, which will actually represent the more competitive side of Brawl Stars. I then took the averages from each of the brawlers and put them on two separate charts sorting them from lowest to highest and here they are and man do I love charts here we can see where certain brawlers land on both of the charts so we can actually determine if they actually do need a buff or a nerf for example Leon is the highest in the general population and fourth highest in the competitive population therefore he needs a nerf also Carl is the lowest in both population while his newness is definitely a factor since people haven't had as much time to push him he needs a buff things get a bit more confusing when it comes to brawlers like crow though crow is the third highest in the general population and third lowest in the competitive population. Should Supercell leave him alone as a completely non-competitive brawler? Or should they buff him to make him competitive while also making him an absolute terror in lower trophy areas? We'll talk about brawlers in this type of a situation later on, but before we do that, I wanted to talk about the brawlers that I think do need a buff and do need a nerf. Big disclaimer here, I know that I am about to go uh, over a ton of different nerfs and a ton of different burfs. buffs. What the heck? A ton of burfs and a bunch of nuffs. Buffs and nerfs, I, I hope you got that. The Brawl Stars meta has been relatively the same for like the past half a year. Like, and I know that most of you people watching this are global players and haven't been playing that long, but it has been stale. And basically the same brawlers have been strong for the same amount of time. Personally, I'm really eager to try out a very fresh new meta. And so that's why I'm hoping for a lot of these different changes. I think that's healthy for the game to have a meta that is constantly adapting and changing. I don't want things to be out of balance, but I really do want to change. First up, we've got Carl. He needs a buff. I actually spent an entire video talking about Carl and I posted more thoughts on him in a community post a couple of days ago. I'm not going to cover him anymore right now, but I do recommend starting with making Carl's star power throw speed, uh, his regular throw speed, and then giving him a different star power. A few different ideas are to increase his movement speed while his axe is being thrown out, or to make it so that his super will last longer or deal more damage. Maybe even make it so that his super will slow players who get hit by it for a second or two. I also think that Carl needs another buff on top of it, but only slightly, possibly increasing the width of his attack or making his attack actually deal more damage. Up next, we've got Pam. She needs a nerf. She is way too strong, okay? She's only the ninth strongest in the general population, but she got second strongest in the competitive population. She can literally do anything and i think the reason why the general population hasn't caught on to this quite yet is first of all because her star power is inc incredibly strong but second of all it also takes a little bit of skill and practice to learn to know exactly how to use her actual attack she's tanky she deals tons of damage she outranges most brawlers she can heal herself she can heal teammates she has a fast reload speed she's highly competitive in literally every single game mode and she's the biggest hardest meanest counter to crow that there is this means that without a nerf to pam there is no way that Crow will ever be competitive even if he gets a buff. She needs a nerf. Personally, I'm kind of sick of Pam being the queen of, of every competitive match and I would love it if she became way less of a competitive option. I'm probably thinking things way too extreme. I absolutely think that her star power needs um, a nerf. I also think that she should not outrange brawlers like Colt. And as a healing tank, she certainly should not deal the kind of damage that she's able to 
up close. There, there's a lot of stuff with Pam, and maybe I'm being too extreme. I probably am, but she's been strong for a very long time. Up next is Leon. He needs a nerf. I actually wasn't convinced of this until I saw the stats. Leon felt much weaker than when he was first released, and I thought that he was obviously fine, but it is pretty obvious that he's still one of the easiest brawlers to push no matter where you are in trophies. He's the highest brawler in the general population, and he's the fourth highest in the competitive population. I think he either needs a nerf to the super duration or a nerf to his super charge rate. Up next, we've got Bull. He needs a nerf as well. He's fourth best in the general population and sixth best in the competitive population. Bull is just too competitive for his low amount of skill required to play him. I think when it comes to balancing a competitive game like Brawl Stars, it is very important to consider a skill in to power out ratio, meaning that brawlers that are easier to play should not be awarded with as much power as brawlers that are harder to play. I think that Siege being the best competitive place to push brawlers right now impacts Bull a lot because of how strong he is on Siege. In addition to adding some more maps that Bull is not a competitive option on for Siege, I also think that Bull could do with a little bit of a damage nerf. Up next, let's talk about Piper. She needs a buff. She's the fourth worst in the general population and fifth worst in the competitive population. Piper is good in Bounty and a couple of other maps and other game modes that are very wide open and that's about it. But the amount of skill required to pull her off does not get awarded with enough power. This is why Brock is a much more versatile brawler than she is. He's actually lowest in the general population but third highest in the competitive population. That is exactly the type of skill to power ratio that I want to to see. He has more HP, his attacks reach a little bit further than hers, he has a faster reload speed, he can burst people down if they get close to him, his super is more offensive and useful in more situations. Now she can deal more damage in one hit, but all of her weaknesses make her a very poor option. Personally, I would like to see her range increase by two thirds tiles so that she at least barely outranges Brock. Up next is Spike. He needs a nerf. He's the second strongest in the general population and in the middle of the competitive population. Spike is a low skill cap brawler. As such, I think that he offers too much power for how easy it is to use him. I think his super's charge rate should actually be nerfed a little bit, and I also think that he gets too much value from his star power. I think it should be nerfed down to like 400 health per second rather than 500 health per second. Up next is Daryl. He needs a buff. He's seventh worst in the general population and second worst in the competitive population. His automatically reloading super nerf that he recently had uh, definitely toned him down, but I think it was a little too much. Personally, I think that it's really fun to actually have a super where you can like jump around or roll around really frequently but now he can't do that as often and he doesn't have the DPS to even make his super really worth it I think the supercell should do one of two things with Daryl they should either increase his super charge speed back to what it was while also nerfing his damage output so that he can bounce around really frequently and be super fun or they should leave him as he is and increase his damage. Now it's time to talk about El Primo. He needs a nerf. He's the fifth best in general and eighth best in competitive. I don't think that El Primo needs like a massive change. I just think that he needs something a little bit to just tone him down a bit. I think adding more open maps to Siege will help. I also think that nerfing Pam will help because she's a great support brawler to play with El Primo. But I do think that he needs a slight nerf to his damage output, either by decreasing his actual damage or by decreasing his reload speed just to touch since it is one of the highest in the game. Up next is Barley. He needs a nerf. The Barley's in a weird situation. He's the fifth worst in the general population and he is the best brawler in the competitive population. Normally this would suggest a high reward for high skill. And while Barley is a higher skill cap brawler, I think that this is actually more indicative of his star power just being too strong. I think his star power needs to be nerfed down to 250 HP healed per bottle. And originally I was thinking that he needed a little bit of a damage nerf, but because he's actually lower than Dynamite in the general population, I think that just playing around with his star power is a good place to start. Now let's talk about Rico. He needs a buff. He's the third worst in the general population and in the middle of the competitive population, Rico is one of the most high skill cap brawlers in the game. As such, there should be a lot of reward for somebody that's able to pull him off. I think the best way to do this would to actually further increase the range that he gets from bouncing shots off walls, that bonus 
range that he gets by increasing it by one third of a tile for every bounce. I think that would be a good place to start with Rico. And now we have Bo. He needs a buff. He's the 10th worst in general and 9th worst in competitive. He is a higher skill cap brawler than most, and I think that he feels very weak even on maps where he has a lot of bushes since he had a star power nerf. I think he could use a little bit of a buff to the damage to his regular attack to reward the skill it takes to consistently hit it with his attacks, or the explosion radius from his attacks needs to be increased to make it a little bit easier to use him. Next up is Nita, who needs a nerf. She's 11th highest in the general population, but she's 5th highest in the competitive population. She's a really excellent option in a lot of places, and I don't think that she needs a huge nerf. I just think she needs a slight nerf to her super charge rate or she needs a slight nerf to her bear's HP. Possibly even the bear's attack instead of its HP, so it's more of an actual, like, mini tank. Up next, we got Gene. <laughs> he needs a buff. He's the second lowest in the general population and 11th lowest in the competitive population. Gene certainly has his issues. He is a great option against certain brawlers that have low HP. That he can pull up close to him and burst him down, but his super is completely useless against a lot of brawlers that are just too tanky for him to take out. I think that the best way to buff him is to slightly increase his regular attack damage. Okay. I have talked about a ton of different balance changes that I would like to see in the next update with Brawl Stars. Now let's talk about some of the more controversial brawlers that I don't think I would like to see changes to. First up is Crow. Crow's the third highest in the general population and third worst in the competitive population. Typically this would suggest a low skill cap brawler that does it well before people how learn how to deal with him. But this is actually totally wrong. He's actually a medium to high skill cap brawler because although it's easy to actually hit his attacks, it takes a lot of patience and skill to know when you can and cannot use your super and how you should use it. So there's something wrong here. You can't buff him because otherwise people would consider Crow to be straight up unfair in lower trophy areas. And the answer comes down to the fact that Crow is very strong in showdown because he can keep brawlers pushed away from him safely and use his super to run away if he really needs to. But he's a very poor option in other game modes and because competitive players don't really play showdown to push up their brawlers, many top players consider him one of the worst brawlers in the meta right now. Ultimately, the reason why Crow is bad as an option does not come down to Crow's strength. It comes down to the meta. It comes down to brawlers like Pam, Brock, Nita, Bull, El Primo, all being such frequently used brawlers because they're so strong in the current meta who are also really good counters against Crow that there's just no way that he can compete outside of Showdown. Once these brawlers get nerfed, I think the Crow will be perfectly balanced as all things should be. Another brawler that I don't think needs any changes is Poco. Poco is the ninth weakest in general and fourth weakest in competitive. I don't think that he needs a nerf though because once Pam, who is like better than Poco in every situation right now, uh, once she gets nerfed, I think Poco will become a much more viable option. Now let's talk about Shelly. Shelly is fifth best in the general population and sixth worst in the competitive population. She's an excellent example of how skill to power should work. She's super easy to use at first, but once people learn how to counter her, she becomes less competitive. However, she is still competitive in certain maps and certain modes, which means that she does have a place on the competitive scene. You can't really buff her to make her competitive in the competitive scene, because if you did so, she would just terrorize new players and uh, we don't want that because they already think that she's OP. <laughs> Up next, let's talk about Dynamite. Dynamite is the eighth worst in both general and competitive populations. While this certainly suggests that he needs some type of a buff, he's actually higher than Barley is in the general population. He's also a high skill cap brawler, which means that I'm okay with him not being so good in the general population. I think that the biggest reason why he's lower in the competitive population is the fact that Barley is just such a better option right now, and Barley, at least right now, is a pretty good counter against Dynamite. If Barley gets nerfed, I think that Dynamite will become more competitive. Now let's talk about Mortis. Mortis is in the middle for the general population and seventh worst for the competitive population. This would suggest needing some type of a buff, especially because he's a high skill cap brawler. However, I think that the changes that I already suggested, like nerfs to Pam, Bull, El Primo, and Nita, would make Mortis become a much more viable option since those are brawlers that do such a good job at countering against him. More players would start uh, selecting brawlers that are a little bit squishier, which would give Mortis more of a job to do. Oh man, we just talked about a lot of stuff. Uh, 
This is the kind of stuff that I love. I love talking about the meta in Brawl Stars. Obviously, there are a lot of imperfections with just looking at uh, average trophy ranges for each of the brawlers because different brawlers are like really good in a specific game mode. And if you change the way that they work there, then it will impact where they work elsewhere. But this is the first time that somebody has taken the time to actually compare brawlers at the top of the ladder versus what most players are actually at when it comes to actually talking about balance changes. So I think that the information that I covered today was actually probably really accurate regarding what kind of changes we should be seeing in the next Brawl Stars update. That said, I would absolutely love to hear some of your thoughts. Like I said, I'm wanting to see a ton of changes because the meta has just been so stale for so long. But is that something you would like to see or would you like to see like some more tweaks and stuff? So please drop a comment in the section below letting me know. I will be reading through this because this is the type of video where I look at my own thoughts and then I look at your guys' thoughts and then I try and compile them and bring them to Supercell. So this is like actually one of the best ways for you to positively impact the game. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.